Hi there and welcome to a new episode of Extreme Banding, the slow YouTube camera channel dealing with various photographic nightmares. I am living in one of them right now, December in the north of Sweden. Weather is so-so and the sun never rises. There's no time or place for photography. So what can you do? Think about which all mechanical rangefinder camera with a cost below 1000 euros you would like to use for the rest of your life perhaps this is a vera 3 called the leica from the east by some i don't know the similarities besides that it's a rangefinder camera it was first released, the first version in 1954, that didn't have a rangefinder, and this one was released in 1955. I think this is the nicest version of the Veras. It's a very interesting design, different in many ways from other rangefinder cameras. First off, it has a leaf shutter, and shutter times from 1 500th of a second to 1 second. You cock the shutter by twisting the don't know what you call the ring that ring uh, and as you can hear as it is a leaf shutter shutter sound is really discreet and it has several advantages you don't have to worry about uneven exposure as with the focal plane shutters and you can flash sync at all shutter speeds the drawback is of course that it makes the camera bigger as you can see this lens part is really really small it's a 50 millimeter f 2.8 while the camera itself never gets smaller than this you control shutter speeds and aperture here but a very small camera you cannot hold it the way you would a camera of you know the normal way the best way is to hold it like this and actually it feels pretty nice. Better when standing up of course than sitting down like this. It has a combined viewfinder rangefinder with non-parallax corrected frames. They are kind of drawn in the viewfinder black frames but they have markings for parallax. There are three lenses for this one. A 100mm, 50mm and 35mm. The outer edges are the 35mm. The magnification is seems to be 0 0.72 or thereabouts the same as like M2 and the frames are at the same width so I think the 50 millimeter frame is perfect the 35 is a bit too big for my taste I find it a bit difficult to compose just as with the like M2 but I'm sure you can get used to it well the design is wonderful it's so clean you have no no names anywhere it's just a small vera sign here it would of course be better if there wasn't but I think that is okay for a minimalistic approach. You have nice touches as this lens cap. This lens cap can also be used as a lens hood. Very nice touch. As with the leaf shutter cameras, you it's kind of a finesse. So we think of it as Sunny 16 using the Ilford FP4 set the 16 at 1 to 5 of a second and so if you want to go to f11 you already have the shutter speed set it's a different system which you get used to if you use it and there are advantages but I don't think it's better than the normal separate one so Small and pretty light, weighs 480 grams without the lens, 540 with the lens, and this Tessar is one of the best I've ever tried. But as you can see, it's a bit big if you compare it to this Soki one with an Industar 61, which is also an f2.8 Tessar. They are pretty similar in size, but you can put a collapsible Elmar in this one if you want to or a Summitar or Summar 50mm f2 and there is also this thing about limited lens selection it has a 35mm lens 
but that lens I'm sure it is good I haven't tried it but it is very big it's a flectagon 2.835 millimeter lens as a system it has its drawbacks this is the Veramatic came later had a selenium meter which now doesn't work you can also see what aperture and the stuff you have uh, through a small window here floats ghostly in the viewfinder nice touch but they also made it bigger and it is less you know minimalistic it has some rounded forms so I think the Vera 3 is nicer than the Veramatic the Veramatic is also nice I think there are Vera 3s with the better rewind crank because you know this one has a lever like this but this one I have to pull this one up turn it like this and it is actually you don't want to do it several times an hour it's a minor thing depending on how much you shoot otherwise they are the same with these film loading it's straightforward just take the back off and wind it on and so the rangefinder in this one 50 millimeter wide base and 0.72 magnification a bit less accurate than the you know original Leicas for example but totally okay for the lenses for this camera so I think it was a collaboration with the Soviets when they did the Leningrad camera it's not a transparent rangefinder patch it's more of a square which you know you don't see through it there are two separate images and you try to align them so vertical lines are good the advantage of this non-transparent variant is that they could make the viewfinder and rangefinder brighter since it's not dependent on contrast to make it easy to focus so the viewfinder of the Vera this is the Veramatic the only difference to the Vera 3 is that you see the aperture here in the corner Pretty cool actually. You don't do that on the Vera 3. But that's the only thing you're lacking and I don't think it's the feature is that important. And as you can see you have frame lines with parallax marks for 50 and 100 millimeters and then the outer frame is 35 millimeters and this is they are fairly accurate these frame lines. And as you can see focusing the image in the center is not transparent it's a separate image so it just goes black if you black it out on other rangefinders the patch just disappears but the image is still there so and the weakness of this finder is it's very important where you keep your eye to get a good view I would say that is the main drawback the focusing system works nicely and it's you know if doesn't matter that much and here you can see my finger shows up it's because the long 35 millimeter lens is mounted it does not happen with the 50 millimeter tester there you have it if you want a different camera with a leaf shutter and a great lens for little money well you could do a lot worse than the Vera the Vera 3 is as minimalistic as they come. It has the advantages of a leaf shutter. The viewfinder is also very bright thanks to the rangefinder design and the etched frame lines never disappear from view the way reflected can. But I would say that a see-through patch is preferable and the viewfinder is let down by the need of having your eye perfectly placed. It is also a bit awkward to hold. All in all, a truly great camera for use with its 50mm lens, but especially as a system, not as great as a Barnack.